Three hearts. Calf, stomach, and heart. Now, this is what happens. You only rely on this muscle to circulate everything. Here it is. And you've got the clogged arteries, and you've got all of this stuff. It's this little abused muscle that's responsible for circulating everything through the body. Okay, well, how about if you give it a hand? Do you know, if you do lower abdomen breathing, and watch my hands, that aids dramatically in digestion and elimination. Also, pumping the lymphatic system. Because the lymphatic system has no pump. It relies on you moving, which also has a lot to do with your immunity, right? So it's like, got to give it a hand here. So second heart is the stomach. So by doing lower abdomen breathing, A, the ability to sleep is greatly improved. B, the ability to uh, digest and eliminate. Very, 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 very effective. Uh, C, you can easily bring up the internal temperature. You can, I can sit here right now and break into a complete sweat sitting on through lower abdomen breathing. Very, very, very important. Moreover, the organs in the body start to stick together in yellow as we get older. And they, why? Very limited movement. They're designed to slide. But, you know, you're designed to be chasing things and diving after rabbits and rooting around for herbs. And in theory, that's how you were designed, not sit in your car and drive the Safeway. So everything just sits, falls, and basically rots. There's parts of you that are dead long before you're dead. And so by breathing, which is called packing and wrapping, you start moving and moving because the organs literally start to fuse and stick together. By breathing, they start to slide. You start to, it's kind of like, has anybody heard of ralphing? Right, deep, deep tissue when they get that, it's, but with the organs. You start to separate and stop that sticking together effect. It makes you so, so much more healthy. I mean, it really does. Uh, very famous grandmaster, Sun Lu Tang, right? Some of us know him or of him, uh, who was also the grandmaster of uh, Ping Chen, one of my peers and teachers. Uh, when he passed away, they did an autopsy, and he passed away at. Does anyone remember the exact date? Do you know? Because I have some black belts that study. Do you I, I had to be in his late, something like that. I mean, late 80s, early 90s. He was right in there. Upon autopsy, they found that. His internal organs were about 42. You know, and another thing they like to do is if you cut that in half and you look at it, your bone marrow really does reveal how old you are as well, biologically. And as we grow older, that bone marrow starts to dry up. So through holding these positions and moving the body right and left side simultaneously in opposite directions, you start to really literally bend the bone. 